So you're a teacher, huh? Yeah, I work at the local high school. Miles actually teaches in the Coles class. Yeah? Mm, you know what they say, those who can do. Yeah, I've, I've heard that quite a few times. What's a fair statement, though, don't you reckon? And I remember the teachers of my school, more than half of them were idiots. Yeah, we only do it for the school holidays, too. I hear that a bit. <laughs> OK, let me make the pit stop. He's a sensitive little pedal, isn't he? Give him a break. He's actually one of my good mates. What do you mean? If I was only friendly with the bloke, we'd be in bed together. Oh, come on. I may be blind, but I'm not stupid. I just don't know. Some things never change. What, like you being a princess? No, like you never trusting anyone. Oh, 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 you know me too well, Roman, too well. Ain't that the truth? Hey, Alf, same again, mate, please. No. Any more news on the winter surf carnival? I've got a meeting with the Surfing Association next week. Oh, good. Well, let's hope there's no more fanciful headlines in the meantime and that the local attention seekers learn how to keep their mouths shut. Well, mate, I'm just uh, playing my part in the whole thing and I'm keeping my nose out of the rest of it. Well, I'm just calling it as I see it, Alf. I'm not going to pretend to be happy about something when I'm not. I feel exactly the same way. Uh, I'll bring those drinks over, mate. Yeah, thanks, Alf. Stuff smells a bit fishy around here. Mate, you don't need this. Why don't you go home, eh? No, I might just finish this one off first. Besides, I haven't finished Canada 10 yet. Sorry, I don't care what Ruby says. Trey's a jerk. I hear you. I hate the way he and his stepdad are bad-mouthing Hugo. Well, he's already having a hard time. If the town thinks he's a liar, it's not exactly going to help his business. So what are you going to do? I don't know. But next time I see Trey, I'm not going to back down, that's for sure. I've got to go check on Annie. Catch her. Yeah, in. sure. Hey. Hey. How did it go at the farm? Ah, uh, let's just say my day had its ups and downs. Oh, well, at least you had Hugo to help you out. Well, no, not really. He cleared off after an hour and he never came back. He's been in a really weird mood lately. Is there anything going on? Apart from all these people spreading rumours? What rumours? Here, let me take them. Wouldn't want you to break a nail. That's hilarious. Sorry, didn't realise I said anything funny. No, that was kind of the point. <laughs> I haven't hurt your feelings, have I, mate? Gully, come mm. on. It's all right, we're just having a joke. You can handle it, can't you, Millsy? As long as you never call me Millsy again, sure, I can handle it. You're not going to be too delicate, are you, mate? Actually, Miles hasn't always lived his life wrapped in cotton wool. Yeah? Oh, you've done it tough, have you, mate? Not as tough as some. When I first moved to the Bay, I discovered Miles living like a bum on the streets. Wow, that's impressive. Wow, I bet you've got the scars to prove it too, have you? What? Don't you like this one? That's a souvenir from Timor. <laughs> Three stitches. Chihuahua. I almost took my finger right off. What? How are you going to take by a chihuahua? I want to get some food. I lost three toes disarming a landmine. Go on, take my boot off, have a look. I'm not going anywhere near you. Oh, you think I'm joking? I don't think you're joking. No, seriously, you think I'd lie about something like that? Take my boot off, have a look. I'm not saying that you're lying, Gaddy, I'm just... <laughs> He's a riot, this one. No wonder you like having him around. Oh, just don't pay any attention, all right? He's got a warm sense of humour. I have. Just sometimes they can be such girls, and that's not an insult to us. Rube, although I guess it is. But I thought guys were just meant to throw a punch, get over it, be best friends, go to see a movie, get hamburgers. Hey, something. I should probably do some homework, Ruby. Or you could not be boring, and we could watch a DVD. Or do you want me to go? No. No, DVD sounds fun. Okay. Um, maybe Trey could come and watch it with us. Yeah, definitely. Give him a call. Ah, uh, you can come out now. I thought she was going to be here. <laughs> wow. OK, I see what you mean by things are really moving along between you two. <laughs> I'm getting spilled, boys. It's a mullet. Get the gap. <laughs> Pull it in. You go. You should join us. Roman's got his mate here for a visit. OK? Gutty. This is Hugo, Hugo, Gutty. Oh, good to meet you. Likewise. Ah, uh, now, see, that's what you call a handshake. You teach this bloke a thing or two. Is it done this way? Yeah. Wow, oh, you must have gone through a lot of tough stuff to put up with all that. He's a bit hard to take at first. Yeah, well, you know, soon he's going to be bringing out the tape measure. That's coming next, you know that. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. He is on form tonight. All right, let's sit down. Come on. 
There's Australians. You should join us, you guys. Come on. Yeah, right.